Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. How can it get any better than this? So this is something a mentor of mine has asked me to say to myself in situations throughout the day that are either, you know, the moments that you have the, oh shit, this is not good, which is happening. This is not okay. Maybe you're feeling anxious about it. You're scared, you're worried, you're concerned. Or even in something when something is going amazing, but I'd say definitely more the former, definitely the oh shit moments of how can it get any better than this? You know, fear is this interesting piece where it wants to fill in the gaps, control everything and tell you exactly what those things mean, what that person said meant, what that situation was, what that experience. And, and, you know, as if the, the meaning of all these things can be kind of like, it's so black and white, right? This is the way the ego and fear will see things and will whisper those little lies into your ear about all that stuff. But the thing is this, is that there is really, the, re- the reality is, the truth is, sister, there is infinite possibilities for you, for me, for everybody. And who are we to think that even, even if it's, you know, the thing that's happened, like, oh, it's so great, or it has to be this certain way, who's to not say that it's going to be a different way that's even better than you think, that is going to blow your mind that you can't even imagine that it would have actually panned out that way? How can it get any better than this? Now, saying that as something to, you know, I'm going to push it like, how, yeah, how can it? What's the steps? Let me write down the things that come to, no, it doesn't work like that. This is really a kind of a suggestion you're putting into the energetic field. This is a, this is a statement. It's a question that you're going to find that over time, you'll, you'll kind of information is going to drop in about it, right? But it's not something that you can just sit down and write and just go, how could it get any better than this? Well, it could be this and it could be that. It could be, no, this is not how this works. It's like a seed, right? It's like you're planting a seed. So you don't plant a seed and then go, where's my fucking roses, right? (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) sounded really harsh. Like, where's the damn plant? Come on, come on, where is it? And it's like, no, it's, it's gotta like, it's got to grow a little bit. You got to, got to give it some love. You got to, you know, some water and some sunshine. Then it's going to come out. Then you're going to get to see it. So you saying this to yourself of how can it get any better than this is no different. It's like, you know how, um, it's kind of like this. You know how you'll sometimes get inspiration or ideas or things will pop into your mind. Let me give you two situations. Okay. So you're in the shower you're out walking the dogs. To me, it would always be, I'd like, I'd be out moving, like exercise to me, just things would start to drop in. Like I would get ideas, I would get inspiration for something. I'd go like, oh, that's that thing, you know? And, and so either that or like in the shower, right? And so what often happens? We're not thinking, we're just in the flow of something else. We're maybe doing something that is closer to how we feel we're in a higher self. Like maybe we're just really enjoying the shower, we're present, we're out moving our bodies, whatever that thing is. Maybe you're, you know, reading a book and suddenly, boom, something kind of pops into you. Let me give you another example. Because I know you've had those, but let me give you one more in case you're still going, no, 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 Karen. You know, when you're thinking of a word, or you're trying to remember the name of that actor in that certain movie, or you're trying to remember what that thing is called. And you're just like, mm, it's right there. It's right there. Like you can almost see the word or it's like it's on your tongue or you can. And sometimes maybe if you push a little bit, you're like, oh, it's this. But often it's not. You just go, oh, you know, it'll come to me. And you kind of just drop it. You drop the attachment of it. You drop the, you know, oh, I got to figure this out kind of thing. And you just kind of you just go, oh, it'll it'll come, whatever. And then what happens? You'll be like 10 minutes later, hour later, like, oh, it's that guy. Oh, this is what it is, right? Not because you pushed it, you forced it, you tried to make shit happen. You just let that go. And so when you say those words, how can it get any better than this? It's the exact same type of thing. 
And if I can add to this, because that actually comes along with two things that my mentor has said to me is the first one is actually this. Let's go right into your more tip. Let's make this short and sweet because you got it, right? You got what this means. So more tip is this, is you're going to write down these two things. And I say these to myself constantly throughout the day. Okay, so number one is this. What else is possible? And this is my amazing mentor who has shared this with me. What else is possible? And number two is, how can it get any better than this? What else is possible? How can it get any better than this? And you have those on a post-it note. And you say them to, to yourself throughout the day. Again, not with the intention. I'm going to say it so the answers can come. No, it's like you're planting the seed. And it also moves you out of a space of fear, concern, anxiety, terror, panic, you know, whatever that shit that's coming up for you, sadness, pain, it shifts you to be open to possibility. It shifts you to understand that you're being guided and directed in ways that you don't even know and understand right now. It gets you to, to change that state that you are in and to open, because right now, right when you're in those states of like panic, anxiety, worry, fear, terror, sadness, pain, loneliness, like whatever that stuff is, stories, it's like contraction. Like you were just, it's like, it's like you, your whole body is crumpling in, right? You know, those feelings where you've had just breakdown, crying or anger or something. It's like, you literally will kind of like curl your body up into a ball. Your fists might go tight. You might feel a lot of tension in your neck and your shoulders. And you're just like, everything's contracted, right? Like you can't even, uh, and you know that whether or not you've done martial arts or some kind of like boxing or fighting that you have to be loose when you're sparring. You cannot be in a place of tightness. Even lifting weights, you can't be in that place of tightness in your body. It cuts you off. It doesn't allow you to be open to, to you know, strengthening the muscle or going through that lift fully and completely and feeling in your body. It doesn't allow you to be in a state of flow if you're sparring or in a ring, if you're like tight. And so this change it even from your body to being a place of tightness to being in a place of open. What is possible now? How can it get any better than this? And say that as much as you want to throughout the day, as much as you feel called to, for as long as you want to keep saying it. And shift from that place of you know, again, fear, worry, concern, guilt, shame, like all that kind of stuff, pain, frustration, overwhelm to a, oh, let me be open as possibility. Because the truth is this, sister. There's a timeline and a path for you that's opening up right now. And we can't always see it. You know, when we went through the pain of infertility for seven and a half years, which opened up the, the possibility of actually becoming a mom in a different way, becoming a dad in a different way. Like it just, it didn't go through biological children means. It went, came through adoption. And we didn't know that through all that time. It was painful as fuck. It was, it was so hard to experience all those things. Now, again, it's easy to look back and retrospect and go, ah, oh, that's what never happened. Got it. I was supposed to, we were supposed to become parents through adoption. I understand now. So, and I know you can look back at anything in your life and you've seen that, but you know, sometimes we'll get amnesia about it and we'll forget, right? We'll forget that we're being guided. We'll for, we forget that we're being supported. We forget that all is well and this is going to end up better than you even know. Better than you think, probably better than you can imagine, but not if you're in that place of contraction and fear and worry and concern. Only if you're open up to be showing a different possibility. All right, sister. So finishing up here, one thing I want to share with you. I've been mentioning this in the podcast for the last couple of weeks, but you know, my main focus this, this summer is to spend some time with my kids. They're going to be in some camps kind of here and there. And so that opens up the, the spot, the time, the availability for me to actually have three clients, three incredible women that have a specific, you know, challenge crisis. Like, you know, you're going through all the stuff of worry and concern and that we will work very closely one-on-one -on -one with my summer one-on-one -on -one coaching program. You and me, sister, mano a mano, at a very, very intense, in-depth, like you have me 24-7, I'm not kidding, you have me 24-7 level 
to really help you move through this, to really help you understand, to really give you the tools, to understand the power of the feminine that you have within you, to understand and to heal through feelings of lack and unworthiness, to understand that there's a program you are subconsciously running on that we all are and how to get off that crazy train. And so this is really what these three months are going to be. So there's three spots that I've opened up. One was just recently filled. So there are two more spots available. So here's how this works. This is by application only for women that are really like, I'm ready to invest in myself to do this, right? To have me at this level. I haven't done one-on-one coaching for a while because of the time that it takes. And so I know that I can serve three women very, very well over these summer months, June, July, August and get you to where you want and where you need to be. And so to start the application process, I want you to email me, drkarenosburn at gmail.com. So D-R-K-A-R-E-N-O-S-B-U-R-N, drkarenosburn at gmail.com. And simply say, Karen, I want to apply for one of the last two spots, please. Okay, I will send in the application and then I will let you know the next step from there. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you being open to possibilities in your life every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com newsletter.